high. I'm gonna go out here. When you come out of a traumatic relationship and mine lasted for 23 years, um, I feel like what I'm noticing is that one of the most important things, maybe the most important thing is to try to figure it out. And uh, a lot of that is because I spent all those years thinking that I was crazy and bad. And now I'm like, wait a minute, no, wait a minute, no, <laughs> no, I wasn't. So I, so my brain has to understand why did I do that? What did I do? And, and what did I do with all that anger? Because it was not acceptable. It was not acceptable for me to have any kind of conscious conflict with the guru, with Dean. I did not let myself feel any suspicion. I mean, it's the goal and it's the expressed goal when you take obedience to this man is to trust him completely. So the relationship was that I trust you completely and you're divine and your thoughts and your words and your motions all will lead me to God. So in that, you can't not doubt. You cannot doubt. And you can't have an issue. You can't be like, hey, why did you do that? Like, that didn't feel good. Like, that's not... So everything that comes from him, you must digest. And I digested so much shit for so long. And so what did I do with that? What did I do with my conflict and my anger? Um, and what I did with it, I think, I think everyone has their own strategies, but what I did with it is I turned it into dogma for other Sufis. Let me just give you an example. Um, I judged mercilessly anyone who didn't shop at the town square market. God, it was so brutal. I had so much conflict about, it was not okay to not shop at the town square market. And even as I say those words, Sufis who hear this, or if I said, if I actually said this to them, they would go like, no, you can, no, it's not real. Like they would make that about me personally. Like, no, no Tarek, you're, you're just like that. You're just, you're just like that, you know? So again, and I, I might have to repeat this 50,000 fucking times in my life before it reconciles, but like, yeah, it was my fault. It was because, it was because of me. So you took someone like me and you put me in that, in that environment and I became a dogmatic fuckwad. So like, like, uh, oh my God, just like, when Anne, I'm sorry, when my wife would go somewhere else to shop, I'd be like incredibly uncomfortable with it. Um, I remember having a fight, all right, like really confronting another Sufi about their decision to go somewhere else to buy vegetable oil because it was cheaper and they got more of it. And I was like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Maybe other people didn't feel as rigidly dogmatic about everything as I did. I mean, one of the things I'm learning to my dismay is that not everyone is touched or hurt in the same way by every group. So like, you know, maybe there's Sufis who are just fine and happy. You know, they don't feel any pressure. Okay. I have to grant other people their experiences. However, my experience is also real and valid and that's part of what I'm working on right now. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's like, I gotta unpack all that shit. There's me a year ago going like, wow, why did you buy that at, why did you buy that at Schnucks? Why? You know, that your money goes, your money is going to who the fuck knows where, but if you buy it here, it might be more expensive, but your money goes to us. So I'm like, I'm basically giving the message to this friend of mine of like, why the, don't, don't go buy, don't, don't buy your vegetable oil somewhere else. And I'm questioning their devotion and their commitment, always. Because I was the best. I was the most committed. And now all I feel is, fuck you. So it, it's a lot to unpack. And even, even right now, I feel like I'm, I'm having to learn to, you know, God, what a process to like, 
So now I feel like my main purpose in my life is to kind of under, understand, like, how did that happen to me? How did I become that person? How did I become that person? There's the lake. I love you. Bye.